Okay, we're back. And so this is the sunroom. I'm going to show you what the camp looks like. This is a sunroom which has beautiful big windows all screened in and it's quite um, comfortable in here for temperature as well. Uh, electrical panels there. We have the container for uh, the wood and we have our deep freeze here which is electrical. It does plug in except we didn't have electricity. Uh, the fridge, though, is a propane fridge. Uh, don't put anything on the top of the fridge because there's a vent. Uh, it burns propane in order to cool the, cool the fridge down, and it vents at the top, so it could get quite hot. It's just a little freezer in here, and that's the fridge size. So it's not too bad. Nice size fridge. Then we got your hot water tank here. Now, these two appliances run off one tank at the back. And then they supply us with, we had two of these tanks, one for the barbecue outside, which is that thing there. And that is the gear that we used for going out onto, you know, working outside here. It wasn't too bad for heat, like it's like it's warm if you wear it all the time, but it wasn't too bad for having to go outside. The cuffs we were able to cinch down and uh, keep the bugs from going up. We deed our hands and deed the mosquito netting and um, yeah, and just wear that. And we had neoprene socks that they couldn't bite through, which was perfect. There's a mop and bucket here. Um, so this is the cabin. So you can have some stuff up in here. And beautiful view to sit, to sit at the table and have breakfast and supper and look at that gorgeous view. Well worth it. Absolutely well worth it. And the bunk beds. Uh, they did come with, um, not that one obviously, but they did come with um, sheets on them. There are pillows. And there's one, two, three, four, I think five, six pillows here. I would bring cases. Those are ours. Um, there is an inverter that uh, sits here and a battery. And that's for CPAP machines and extra battery supply if you needed it. Um, we took it, when we ran out of power, we took it outside. And we, we, we had hoped that the battery would turn the water pump on. Um, but it didn't. It did run some lights, so we, we can serve. Um, so anyways, that's the sink in the kitchen. Uh, like I said, there are uh, some some supplies here. We That's my stuff, the oil and whatnot, and salt, pepper. But they have some dishes, a bowl. Uh, I'm sure you can see what's all in here. This is the stuff I wish I knew was here, because I brought so much of this because I didn't know uh, what was here. There is a pizza pan up there as well. There's um, toasters, blah, blah, blah. And then uh, the pots are down in here. A couple of pie tins. I don't know why. Uh, there is a drain tray, that sort of thing. Those scrubbies and stuff I brought myself. Uh, definitely dish soap you need to bring, scrubbies, SOS pads. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so for our cleaning of the water, we brought from the pots, from the lake, we boiled it. Um, once it was boiled for five minutes, uh, I would filter all that stuff. Yeah, little bits and pieces of bugs and debris from the water out. And then it became clean drinking water. It's stained, but you don't taste the staining. It's stained because of the red pine, right? So the stove... You have to light the pilot light under here, at the back, at the top. Um, and then the stove works just fine. Propane's amazing. Um, there's two pots here. One is coffee, and that one's just water. So that was our system. There's frying pans. And there's also how to light the pilot light on the stove if it goes out, but it stays on. So we did have to light the oven one. Really simple. You don't need to turn the propane on to turn that oven on, like to turn the, the propane um, pilot light. It just automatically goes, okay? You just light it. 
Um, we brought in some wood as well. Our Coleman lantern. These things were also very important. These are Chris's welding gloves. And I thought I grabbed a pair and put it in the bin because uh, those cast iron pans can get really, really hot. I'm glad I brought it. So there's the other table. That's kind of cool, though. And we have a bathroom. And the bathroom has uh, got some supplies for boats in here. Uh, the paddles, the wood oars, a couple of extra netting, blah, 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 an extra garbage can. The shower, which was incredible when we had it. Um, it had nice water pressure. It was great. It was a delight because I thought it was going to be a trickle. So, um, so nothing's in the bathroom. You got to bring your own soap, you know, supplies, anything else, right? We always had lighting everywhere. Um, there is an air conditioner here. I don't know if it worked. We never plugged it in in the uh, three days that we were here that had power. We never plugged it in, um, but it is here. And of course, all the windows, we had them all open. And yeah, so that's the uh, inside of the cabin. There are kinds, all kinds of videos of the outside of the cabin. And um, no need to go over those because someone's already done them up. Uh, fly swatters, there's like six of them here. Uh, you'll need them, believe me. And uh, yeah, so that is the cabin and what you would need to, to bring and what is here. Next for video three.